Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Now here we are back in the goat paddock next to our spring collection water, um, water tank here. And the curiosity got the better of me about the two different methods of pumping water uphill. Firstly, we had the ram pump, which we were throwing around as a part of the mix. And then secondly, our solar um, 12 volt water pump that we've used everywhere else here at Fat Cow Farm. Now, I thought, so yesterday afternoon, I thought, oh no, I'm, I've got the pump here, I'm gonna give it a quick crack. So what I, what I did is I set up the pump or the ram pump here, and because I don't have the bits for the solar pump um, just yet, but I thought I'd give this a go just to prove to myself where my theory is going to be right as a part of wastage and we're gonna get up to the hill and, and, and there was a few things going on. So anyway, I set this up and instantly what had happened, I was looking at the top of the, um, the tank there through the um, in, inlet there and my water level was dropping. And I thought, geez, it can't be. We haven't got more outputs than we've got inputs. But sure enough, what we have found is that the output from the one-way valve here on the ram pump and what we're getting up at the... Um, end of this pipe um, is around about 750 litres a minute versus my my out my, my wastage here was actually more than what I've got coming in and I know that well, we've gone through previous videos where we know we've got four litres a minute coming into the our storage tank so I've confirmed to myself that yes I'm right that the wastage with the ram pump is not going to work for us here in this um, sort of experiment. I need to be able to capture 100% with, with zero wastage. Um, so basically, we've confirmed that now, And but what I wanted to do was show you how this is all going to set up. Now, this um, storage tank here is 1.6 high. Now, we drained that last night um, with using the ram pump. I just was wanted to go through some experiments. So we completely drained that last night um, through wastage and, and everything else as a part of the experiment. But what we've got is 1.6 high. I'm down probably about a half a meter. Now that gives us, um, let's say two meters below as a part of water pressure. Now the way that the ram pumps work is, is basically one to seven. So with every meter that you go down, you can pump up seven meters if you want to go down two meters you can pump up 14 meters and so on and so on and so on so and it's all based on head pressure for the pump as a part of back feed and, and everything else that goes with it to trigger off the one-way valve here now i'm not going to explain how a pump ram pump works i'm sure most of you already do um, know how that all works but as a part of the function i know that roughly in my calculations that I'm around about two meters at this point here, once that rain, um, the storage tank's full, and I'm only getting a trickle up at that far end. So I know that it's, like I said, what, have, what I say, 750 mils a minute. So I'm right on the extremes of having this pump work, but my storage collection isn't big enough. Um, I think that a ram pump certainly have a place and if you're certainly, if you're putting them into a stream where you've got that constant water supply, ram pumps would be absolutely fantastic. But if you're working off a collective system like what we are now, it's, I think you'd really have to ask yourself twice, is the wastage output v worth it from our output up the top? And in this case, no, it's just not gonna work at all. So what we've, what I'll end up having to do is put our 12, 12 volt um, pump in. Now the typical Seaflow 12 volt solar pump that we use only has a siphon of around about three or four meters. Now I'm not going to get that here because I, I need to go up 14 meters. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to set up my water pump station here, and because we're in the forest here, as a, in the goat paddock, I'm going to have to have a separate solar panels bank and then feed the battery from here and then send the water up. I think that's the only way that I'm going to get that sorted out. 
But while I've got it all set up, I wanted to show you how it all sort of came together. So, the um, and I'll show you the wastage that we're dealing with. Now, this is, to me, a lot of wastage, but also have in mind that the pressure coming from the tank isn't that great either, because you know, I would be thinking that's probably only half full now. So I'm gonna be sitting at around about half full, what's that, eight, plus another five. I'm probably just over a meter as a part of head pressure. Um, once that got to a higher, or once it was full, the snap of, oh, the tree just fell down. <laughs> it's always something going on. But once we had that at full and where we are, the snap of that return valve was great, absolutely fantastic. But the outputs just wasn't gonna work. So what I'm gonna do is show you up at the top what we're dealing with as a part of our output there. Like I said, is around about um, 750 mil, um, which concludes pretty much our little experiment by saying, ram pump, no. Back to our solar 12 volt water pump set, set up, yes. So I'll see you soon. All right, so here we are, pretty much yeah, around about that 14 to 15 meter mark. And this is pretty much the full extreme of the amount of water I've got coming up. Now, the header tank or the, the rainwater tank that I wanna use is further downhill. So what I've done is I've, I've come to the elevation which would be the top of the rainwater tank. And it has dropped off quite a bit, and I think that that's based on the rainwater tank collection system down there went dry last night because of the the pump running, and it basically ran it dry. So I think that really, at the end of the day, the wastage scenario is too high, way too high. And what I'm gonna to have to do is I need to capture 100% of that caught water. And so what effectively we're gonna be doing is, is going back to our original um, solar water pump scenarios where I can then capture 100% and then have it on a timer so that I'm only filling, you know, over, over a day um, I'd probably be looking at around about two hours a day. I'll do a time, put a timer on it, one for the morning and one for the afternoon, and or mid morning, something like that. So the batteries have got time to charge up. We can pump for an hour. The batteries can then recharge, and then we'll pump again for another hour. But I, I really wanted to sort of see while I had the RAM pump up and running where we're going to be, and that's just not going to cut it just not going to cut it. The wastage is too far down, down at, the, uh, at the bottom end. But it, as, a, as a point though, like you can see, I've got it running on the, on the surface and this water, it is super hot, <laughs> like full hot, super hot. So when, you know, you, I mean, this is all temporary for us just to sort of go through some um, volume scenarios, but got to get your pipes in the ground because even like the cattle wouldn't drink that. That is just like super, super hot. All right, so the ramp pump's out of the question now. Um, we know that. And we'll now go through the scenarios of setting up our solar pump, um, little solar house. I just need to work out a few experiments first. Um, am I gonna siphon or am I gonna push? And I dare say I'll probably have to push the water uphill rather than siphon the water and have the pump up here. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll do both. Um, I just don't think the elevation sucking the water up is, it's gonna be too high. So we're, we're certainly gonna have to push the water up. And then that will mean that I will have a solar panel bank up here and then running a, um, a cable back to the battery and solar house back down that end. I think that's probably the way it's ended up gonna be. And then that, that, that way we're sort of up the top and we can then gravity feed back down to the stock troughs at this point. All right, so 
how's it all going, mate? It's all trial and error, and we're getting to the point where we know exactly where we're going to be now. So, all about the spring collection, water, um, water tanks down there, trying to use the ram pump. Yeah, that, look, I think there's certainly a, a, a point where a ram pump would be fantastic. Our elevation is just too high and our wastage, we, we, we just don't have that constant support, um, supply of water enough for the ram pump to work efficiently. So, like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.